rolling. Anna, Anna Blow, welcome to the Rock the Block show. Um, it's a pleasure to have you on. First time, <laughs> definitely Sorry. first time. First time on the show. Don't be nervous, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. We outside. We had the Selena Hotel. I want to shout them out for uh, uh, lending us the space for this, you know? Shout out to the Selena Hotel. Um, Anna, my first question for you is, uh, well, not really a question. I wanted you to exp explain where your name can come from. Okay, so go ahead. go ahead. My real name is Ja Anna. Okay. So Anna Blow came from Mixed Baby. She made the blow, so okay. she kind of named me. And um, yeah, cause her dad, <laughs> his name is Blow, so they kind of put it together. Okay. And there you got that. That's lit. Okay, I like that. Okay, okay, for sure. It was unique when I saw it, you know what I mean? You know, um, I was I was yeah. actually saying it wrong, so it was Anna Blow, straight up. Okay, straight up. All right, for sure. Um, explain where you, uh, well, uh, where you from? Um, I was born in Miami, but I'm from Tallahassee. Okay. I'm from the Virgin Islands. I lived there some of my life, too. That's where my people from, but mostly Tallahassee. Okay. Um, Talk to us about your upbringing. Uh, your upbringing. Did you have like both parents in, in the household, or was it a split household situation? How yeah, my, it, I was with just my mom. She was a single parent. Um, it was straight. I'm not gonna lie, we struggled like a lot of other families, you know. And it just made me who I am today. Right, right. Uh, so you say you you grew up mostly like in Tallahassee. Yeah. Because okay. my mama, she said that's, they say that that's the place you, you can raise your kids. It okay. ain't too much going on. So, yeah. Right, 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 right. Okay. Uh, how long have you been rapping? All my life. I've been rapping since five. Right. Yeah, my older brother, he forced me to rap because he used to rap. My dad used to force him to freestyle. Right. So, you know, me and him nine years apart, and it was really just us and my little sister. So he didn't have a little brother, so I was kind of like that little brother forced me to rap and that's how I got started. It's really because of him. So 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 you say like your um, would you say like your parents support you doing the rap? Oh they support it. hundred percent. They fact. support it. They As they would have did you know, they would have been like a, if they had the money to do it, they right. would have pushed me, you right. know what I'm saying? But right, right. Yeah. Right, right. You know, that's a pivotal, especially in our communities coming up. It, you know, we don't be having a support system like that, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? People could be People barely want to like something, you know what I'm saying? Like it hurt to like something. Like, like they give you a million dollars by liking a picture or something sometimes. So that support be uh, pivotal. That's that's um. Yep, but they'll support their favorite artists. But it's all good. I mean, they'll support a stranger before they support you. Type type situation, right? Okay, all right. Um, cool. Moving forward. Um, you signed to a label, correct? Mm-hmm. ZCE. ZCE. Okay. Zoja Cartel Entertainment, nigga. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, how's that faring for you, um, opposing, opposed to rocking out as an independent artist? Like, I got help. I got help. Um, I got help emotionally. I got help financially. You know, it's not just me. I'm not just pushing myself. It's three artists. We push each other. It's the CEO. He push us financially. Right. There's other people that help you know, with other parts of being part of a label and, you know, executing stuff. So it's not just me. Right. Uh, so you say that, that it's definitely better to, uh, to have that team than to be trying to push it, be pushing it on the solo tip. Yeah, but we are family. Right. So it Bigger ain't like no, like no label where it's just about business. We really a family, you feel me? Right, 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 right. Um, okay, for sure, uh, definitely, definitely, that's, that's important, having that family energy. Um, you look pretty young, right? Did you, uh, did you finish, you finish school? Are you currently in school? Um, I graduated high school. Yeah. And I, I graduated, like, trade school, cosmetology. Okay, okay, um, but no, definitely, that's, I think that's better than going to a regular college, going to a trade school, picking up that trade, for sure. Yeah, do college not for me, but if it's for you, do it. Big okay. fact, big fact, big fact. Um, so there's an emergence of, like, female dominance in the industry, right? Uh, right now, it seems like 
they have to fit into a certain uh, lane in order to blow. Um, are you okay? Or how do you feel about women having to uh, over-sexualize themselves to be successful in the game uh, in these day and ages in this time? I feel like do what you gotta do. I feel like don't sell your soul. Selling your soul don't gotta be like, you know, necessarily money-wise. When I say sell your soul, if that's how you are naturally, then do you. But if you gotta be something else or something that you're not, I mean, I don't really agree with it, but I understand, you know, people got to do what they do to make their money. So, I mean, I don't feel no type of ways for other people, but me personally, I try not to go down that lane because that's not really who I am. If I want to make a song where I'm feeling a little spicy, I'm going to do it, but to be trying to over-sexualize myself, nah. Right. Um, are you familiar with uh, who Janelle, Mon jo Janelle Monet is? Yeah, that sounds familiar. She's like a... Uh... Like jazzy type of yeah, singer I, yeah, type yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, you know, after years of kind of reserving herself in the public eye, um, la like last week, sometime a little over a week ago, she hit the internet, like kind of exposing her, her breasts uh, on several occasions. Um, you know, what what's, what's your thoughts on that? Do you, do you consider that selling your soul in a sense? Like if your image was one thing for a certain amount of time and then you kind of just. To be honest, thoughts, that's yeah. up to her. I wouldn't know because she could have, the way that she portrayed herself back in the day, that could have not been her. That could have right. been people telling her how to be and how okay. to dress. And, and the way she is now could be really how she is. All so right. that that's for sense. her to really speak on. But me personally, I mean, do what you do. Right. I can only control myself. Right, right, right. Respect to that, for sure. Now, I like that uh, perspective, how you put that in perspective for me, for sure. The the old image could have been fabricated, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Somebody get you right, definitely, for sure. All right, um, who are some artists that you, your favorite artists to listen to for inspiration? <laughs> I don't really have none. I, I be listening to all type of different people. Um, I guess my different moods. I like different people for different things. Like, I, I listen to Lil Baby, I listen to Hot Boy, I listen to Kodak, I listen to mostly men. I listen to some girl songs, but... I listen to all type of different genres, so I don't really have a favorite. I'm not right. gonna lie. Okay, okay. No, that's, uh, that's cool. What I listen the... to Lil Wayne. Or I used to. I listen to people who lyric like lyricists. Tupac. I, li I listen okay. to lyricists. Okay, okay. That's but important I, to I be you. vibing too now. So. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, are you currently like doing shows and visiting other markets or? You know? Yeah, but I'm pregnant. So I kind of... you like on a maternity leave right now. I kind of slowed down, but um, I'm trying to pick myself back up. Like, you know, not trying to be lazy, trying to mentally prepare myself to push myself. That was, that, that was, that, that was kind of like one of my questions that I was going to ask you. You know, I kind of get to it and it was like, um, you know, uh, are you, were you, I wanted to know, were you in a relationship? Because a lot of times I see young women get derailed on their pursuit of this music career, either by, you know, the hands of some dude or something like that, or, you know, pregnant. But, you know, every, it's different for everybody. You know what I'm saying? How do you, you know, uh, how, how do you, how do you plan on, uh, you know, moving forward from here? Now that you yeah, because this wasn't planned. I honestly really was on go mode before I found out, and it kind of hit me, morning sickness and stuff like that. But I honestly feel like if I move the right way and I play chestnut checkers, it could really help my career. Right. You know, with all right. the all the in stuff, the um, what's the word? Like like. What people, even though it's kind of sad, like what people look up to, but what people like. It could really, I could really change it for myself where it actually helped me. Right. Now, so, you well, know, as long as I keep pushing and I don't dwell on being pregnant and I'm trying. Right. Now, I, I get it. I, I know it got to be um, tough, you know. I know it's going to slow the motion down a little bit. Uh, but um, right now we got, you know, we got a couple of artists, even though like Rihanna's well off into her career or whatnot, mm -hmm. but she, you know, she's pregnant, sporting the baby bump. The brat even pregnant right now. Shout out to the brat. 
the draft all these years, mm -hmm. but it could be, it, it ain't gotta be a hindrance, you know what I'm saying? You mm -hmm. could definitely catapult with it, you know what I'm saying? I definitely, um, I definitely would say shoot some videos, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, some fly videos where you get into them later months or whatnot, you know, just for uh, your own uh, records too, but you know exactly. what I'm saying? That'll be good, That'll put that out there, people support, you know? Get exactly. Definitely. Um, all right, moving forward. Uh, we're from a region that's synonymous with like luxury and flashy things, right? In the grand scope of the industry, where would you rank us at as it pertains to like the rap scene? Okay, like, if I if, think, go ahead. Go, you could for instance, a I'm a, I'm a, just so you, if, let's just say, I'm gonna just throw, let's just say Atlanta was one, Texas was two, uh, where were mm -hmm. Miami? Oh, not South Florida. Like Florida, South Florida. So Florida. Let's say the whole Florida fall into it. Like right luxury now. rise or like, what do you mean? So I'm just saying like we're from, uh, yeah. So basically what I'm saying is, uh, so basically for instance, like it's tons of people in the city that got, you know, that's lit, we lit, got jewelry, they driving all the flies, whips, but they still don't garner that national buzz. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So. We lit, you get what I'm saying? We got the little Tylers, we got, you know, uh, the hot boys, we got everybody, we have a movement, but where do we rank amongst like the Chicago scene, the New York scene? Mm, to be honest, I don't really know, because um, I think everybody I see. would probably be Just to put it more around, in yeah, go ahead. go ahead. Put it a little bit more in perspective. I brought, brought that up because all of those things kind of, in today's industry, make up the criteria of what lit rappers should be, right? You, you got the. That's dime. what they want you to think. That's what they want you to think, right? Mm -hmm. oh, that's even deeper. That's a whole that's other. Too yeah, that's too deep. deep right now. Oh, I can get deep. I can get deep for real. But <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to go there. Right, but so that's because even to me, I'm asking you that because I'm trying to figure out myself, like, because it's kind of like we lit, but the market ain't open up enough. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? For Florida, yeah, or at least South Florida. I know like the northern regions kind of got they, they got they, they movements and popping off. You know, but so, yeah. I mean, I was going to say, if I'm answering it right, I feel like everybody kind of is like a pyramid for every state. You know, everybody could be on just different type of artists that's on different levels that could be a South Florida artist could be on the same level as a New York artist, and you know, they still got all the luxury, but I don't think it really mattered till you hit that, 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 um, that, uh, that rank, like where you A, B list. Because that's really, those artists is the ones who really set the trends for real. Right. So if, if a, if an A, B, C list artist was like, okay, y'all, nah, we don't, we're going to switch diamonds back to gold and we're going to all rock gold. Or, you know, somebody just got big and they like, you know, we're going to all rock gold. Most people is going to change to that. So I don't know. I don't really think that, you know, that matters. Sometimes it's about being entertainer. It's not really about what you got. Some people do look at that. I don't know. I don't even know how to answer that for real. Right. It's a, it's a weird, it's a tough question, right? Yeah, kind it's like right? um, general, like, you know. It's not a stand a stand answer you can really answer to that because every state different, everybody on different paths. Jewelry, you saying jewelry and luxury wise, I mean, some people make it and don't have to have all that. Nah, correct, definitely. Nah, you're right about that. You're right. Um, I was just, you know, trying to put in perspective, like you know, you got a Detroit scene, LA got a scene. Everybody got they scene, but like being in South Florida, for instance, like I can't speak for the North Side, but it's like everywhere you go, you're gonna see exotic cars, you're gonna see the beach, you know what I'm saying? They kind of create an illusion, like, but it's not as many artists in the market, in this particular market that's on a national scale, you know what I'm saying? So I want to know kind of where you rank, but nah, you pretty much answered well, this. Because it could also be what they doing to, to get that stuff. What is they doing behind the scenes before they taking them videos to get the jewelry, to get the car? Detroit could be doing something totally different than New York. They could be doing the same shit. You get what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. I right, don't know. Right. Um, where you see yourself in the next five years? 
with the rap, the music, entertainment? I'm going to manifest that I see myself elevating. I don't really have a peak. I just want to keep elevating. Right. As right. long as I'm elevating, I'll get to where I want to get at. Right. Um, any uh, new, new new projects or anything that we should be looking looking out for? I'm trying to bust out videos. The more I do it before I show, but I kind of want to do it while I show, too, like you were saying. Right, right. Why not? Um, I've been having... I mean, like, if you think about it, your audience, your, the, your fan base of people that follow you, right? They enter your life. They, 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 they would appreciate seeing that progression. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty private, too. Like, I got to yeah, like, switch gears. Like, switch I'm gears. too private. Right. Nah, I got to... I try to be that way too, but like it don't help for this industry. We exactly. gotta be out there, you know what I'm saying? The people that's out there doing the, the most to say, you know what I'm saying? Is you the just ones gotta really... be the entertaining ones. The ones who mm -hmm. keep you entertained is the ones that's getting that's getting bigger. Right. Ain't even really talent no more. Definitely not based on talent. I don't think so, at least, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Um how you feel about working with other female artists? I work with anybody, any and everybody. Any and everybody? I work with a puppy. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. Straight up. Okay, so that answer that. <laughs> Shit, uh, anything you want to, uh, you know, lead the people with before we, you know what I'm saying, jump off? Y'all, go listen to Real Deal. Go listen to all my music. Tell me what y'all think. Um, my Instagram is Anna fucking Blow without a G. Um, my name is Anna Blow, B-L-O-W-A-N-N-A. A N N A B L O W, and um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just an underground artist out here like everybody else, trying to do their thing, trying to get bigger. Y'all support any and everybody that's trying to make it. This junk is not easy. They make it look easy. It's not easy. That's it. Right. Okay. Respect. It was a pleasure having you on. Looking forward to uh, watching your progression, seeing new, new uh, music, new videos from you, and have you on the show for a follow up. Thanks. Maybe after the pregnancy, we can you know, <laughs> hey, bring bring little man on, right? A little little girl, little man. For sure. All right, we out. Thank you. Yep.